to the CFG Gamecast episode number 242, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode every weekend and release on all podcast services at the beginning of each and every week. So do us a favor and show us some love by liking, following, subscribing, and sharing on our YouTube page, the CFG channel, or on our Twitch page, twitch.tv slash CFG, and be a part of the conversation. I am Mr. CFG Games Davis Green, and with me today, I got only one of my awesome co-hosts that I feel like we need to just kick him in the butt to be more energetic. We got the five-star okay. general of the itty, bitty, smitty committee. I got smitty in, the, uh, smitty in this third seat. What's going on, my dude? First off, I did not get. I did. I I ran out of coffee, so I had like a little bit that was left in the pot. I just reheated that, and it was not nearly enough. So I'm struggling a little bit. This is yes, true. Yes. Uh, but no, it's been good. Uh, work was good again. Uh, I've been enjoying Blop Six. That's been fun. Sparking Zero. Still going through the uh, story modes of each. Uh, character and stuff like that so i've been enjoying that uh other than that though just been working the paychecks are finally starting to hit so i can unpucker a little bit and relax my shoulders <laughs> so that's always a good feeling uh welcome in unknown good to see you uh yeah everything has been uh solid so just you know just grinding away doing things um yeah yeah, I know uh, Dragon Age, uh, even though I will not be purchasing it. I will probably eventually play it, though. Uh, but I know that release, so that's been positive, uh, you know, reviews, player reviews, and things like that. So good to, mm -hmm. good to see. I know that uh, BioWare needed a dub. Their last game, we were talking about this before we went on stream, but their last game was Anthem. <laughs> they need a dub, folks. Trust me, I've been watching. I've been waiting. As somebody that I went full in on on Anthem, they made me look like a fool. So they needed they needed a, a win here. So I'm glad that that people are enjoying uh, Veilguard and and hope to jump in uh, here at some point in time. I am surprised. Like it, it, it's surreal to even think that the last game was Anthem. And when did Anthem come out? Like 20, 2019? Uh, something like that. It has yeah. to be. It had. I think it was before. Yeah. It, it had to been before the pandemic because I went to Japan. It was and, before the pandemic. Yes. Oh it was like God. right when I had gotten a PC. It was the first game that like like I really got comfortable with mouse and keyboard because I literally streamed it for twenty four hours straight. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> yes, yeah. you did. You basically did everything in twenty four hours essentially because that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Is, that's basically what. <laughs> that was that was uh, that was there. Hey, you, no. To be fair to Anthem's credit, what you did play, you did have a fun time, but it just got. I had a blast. Yeah. I wanted more, dude. I seen that there's talks. Uh, about one of the producers talking about we'd love to reboot it and it's like that's a pipe dream in my opinion <laughs> but there was a lot of great mechanics to it and the gameplay was a lot of fun the uh -huh. story stuff was lame though that's yeah. that's really where you know and they had no real plan for it being a live service game they should have had that planned out at least a year in advance you yeah, know unbelievable yeah well the, the, okay w wait wasn't it wasn't oh yeah Anthem it wasn't was supposed confusing. to be a live service game no it wasn't right. supposed to be a live service it was that was that live service game was uh was it outriders or outside uh, outriders it was oh, supposed outriders. to be a live yeah that was yeah. supposed to be a live service that but, definitely should have been a live service game yeah but yeah. square decided to do some weird square voodoo and decide to to be like i sometimes feel like square likes to be like likes to 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 live like rent free in their own heads sometimes it's just so they just release sometimes just release games to release the game and just not put any money on the marketing or just not make any sense at all on, on why they're doing whatever they're doing but that it is what it is with square yeah like, yeah so i feel like we've seen that a lot especially this year concord yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. You yeah. know, so many other games where it's just like, I didn't even know this game is coming out, or I didn't see anything marketing wise. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. But no, everything's been good. Oh, uh, also, I started writing for uh, Level One Gaming as well on their website. Uh, I did a uh, uh, little piece on uh, ESO, their update 44, which focused on PvP 
cosmetic things new you know they brought in a new a bunch of new stuff uh free to the base game users uh obviously you get extra incentives with uh eso plus and and or you could just outright like buy the companions but, well first uh, off pretty, what is pretty ESO? PD, PD update uh elder scrolls online <laughs> elder scrolls online sorry i just, just yeah you can't I just forgot assume. that. Not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're right. Elder Scrolls Online is, yeah. is yeah, otherwise known as ESO. Yeah, uh, had a go. media update. So, doing good, the good uh, stuff. What about you? I know that uh, you had you got your walk on this morning. Mm-hmm, definitely did. Got that going, <laughs> and uh, it was good, dude. Like, um, uh, like, uh, well, first off, I'm totally like, um, uh, I did the uh. I'm well, I'm still am. I'm just messing around. PlayStation, I'm doing the PlayStation. I'm doing the Monster Hunter uh Wilds beta. And I Yeah. Bro, dude, like they, they I, I already knew I was gonna get the game. Like I knew the game was gonna ha- was gonna be good. And yeah, and the, and, and this game is going to be yeah I'm now I'm going to be getting it now like now it's actually great because this chat this gives me a chance to try if I want to play it on the console if I want to get it on PC I played True. the PC I played the console version the other day and uh, it was good it was really it definitely did good I just think there was some dips that I that kind of irritated me a little bit but then uh, mm-hmm. I was uh, uh, but I was busy this throughout the rest of the week so I'm gonna go try after this probably after the podcast to try install it on the uh, on Steam and see where it goes you know and see if how, mm-hmm. how much better it is or how much worse it is you know so uh but yeah yeah so i did that uh then after that i was playing some uh uh playing some more metaphor as always and just trying to trying to finish and complete the game because uh coming soon like this month is also going to be big with games because dragon quest 3 2d is coming out plus with some other mm-hmm. uh some other uh the power rangers side scrolling uh beat up is also coming out i mean there's just so many yeah, different readers things. rewind right yeah yeah we just re- 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 mm-hmm. uh, rewind and stuff and uh me with my <laughs> my nikkei <laughs> rush right that. now yeah they're right <laughs> nikkei! Yeah. Victory nikkei. Or goddess of victory yeah goddess of victory <laughs> yeah which really pissed me off as of late because like I had to draw 170 times just to get this the 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 one character I wanted didn't get her ended up doing a pity a pity pull and I'm now I'm now I'm basically broke for the second the second rare character for the uh, for next week so I don't even know what I'm gonna do and I refuse to put money in on this so we'll see where this is going to go <laughs> so yeah so then on the weekend I did a uh, then this week this morning actually and on Saturday morning I decided to do a uh, uh, a walk for um, suicide prevention. Uh, and uh, did that for uh, did did a good three mile walk to raise money for uh, suicide prevention, which was really cool. This is what the beads, which are the reasons for the beads. So uh, because each color meant something uh, for it, uh, so that was uh, so that was really really cool. And dude, like it's he- it was heavy talking to talking to folks and stuff and people that were you know affected by by like loved ones and stuff. It was it was it was really, but it was it was really eye-opening let's just say that uh for the most part wait but, was there but, like a but, social like yeah. moment that they had set up along yeah. with the race mm-hmm. well at the beginning oh, okay, of okay at the beginning of it there was a like they they sat down and they talked like i guess the big the the, the top people were were there to sit down and talk about you know their their stories about about the mm-hmm. about the people that they lit uh that they lost and then um, mm-hmm. after that, like, but then, but everyone had like all these these shirts and stuff, rem- like uh, mem- uh, uh, rem- remembering the pe- the uh, the people that they were doing this for and stuff, and right. and then scenarios. But it, it was it was it was very it was awesome. It was definitely really really awesome to do. So, and I was really glad to do nice. it with my sister and my friends and stuff too. So yeah, it was uh it, it was really really cool. And I can officially say. I am now. I have lost officially under. I've lost more than a hundred pounds now. I'm at th- went down uh, awesome. sixteen uh, uh nine or seven pounds yesterday. So he's a, I he's am a sixty nine. No, no, excuse 16, me. I was going to say sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's my podcast. I can do whatever I want. That's basically what it is. Yeah. No. Yeah. So yeah, it's freaking it. It's freaking awesome. So yeah. So de- definitely down. Definitely happy. Uh, just was a really, really, really great, uh, really great week. So, uh, yeah. So oh. definitely going to pursue it more because I just can't wait till I'm like, 
uh, to get weight to be down in the two hundreds, man. That, that's a big thing. That's the biggest goal is just is, 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 once to hit that yeah. goal, it's going to be great. Don't be wearing yeah. nothing, nothing but zoot suits. That's what's going to happen. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's <laughs> nothing but zoot suits. <laughs> nothing but zoot suits. I'm bring, I'm bringing Getting them into back. My zoot suit era. <laughs> yeah, bring it back. I know I'm a little late, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah, no, yes. I respect it. Yeah, I respect. Oh, it. I said yes. when I get back, when I get down to where I need to get down to you, it's all cut <laughs> cut off mesh shirts for me. <laughs> <laughs> you get the D'Angelo body. That's what's gonna happen. That, yeah, that's that, if I decide to wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why are you wanting me to cover perfection? That's what that's basically yeah, the mentality. Like, Everybody needs to look at it. Feast your eyes, my friend. Yes, feast your <laughs> eyes. This is gonna help. I'm helping. I'm helping the world in my way. Yeah, I am. I am. How can we work this into the plan? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, I love it. Love it. How can we work this into the plan? Wasn't that an always study? Reference. <laughs> I was like, that sounds so familiar. Oh yes, you got it. Good, uh, good. That, that That's is hilarious. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. stupid. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyways, I know y'all don't want to talk about any underground, always sunny conversations like we like that we just exposed today. So we'll go through the rug and roll that we'd like to do each and every week. So each of us chooses a topic of discussion in the world of video games. The topic would or could be a game itself or something that happened in the gaming industry. And we do not want to talk about it amongst ourselves. We want you, the listeners and viewers on Twitch and on YouTube to be a part of the conversation as always. So if there is something that you're wanting to add or chime in on whatever we talk about, by all means, just type it inside the chat as always. And we will discuss it with you and we will go from there. So, I am going to start first today, and I am wanting to talk about a the worst kept uh, the worst kept uh, uh, thing uh, uh, next step that was that everyone saw was going to eventually come. So, uh, but the the big word is two hundred million, Smitty. Do you know what does that does that number mean anything to you? Doesn't does it ring a bell? It does not mean anything to me. I don't think. Okay. okay. Well, two hundred million dollars is how much Sony spent on firewalk studios at, at least 200 million dollars that firewalk stu- uh, that they spent on firewalk studios when they bought them on t- in 2020 uh of this year to be added to to work on um concord uh now keep this in mind concord was already in the process of being made because this game was being made i think it was in it I think the cycle was eight years it was an eight-year cycle and they and uh and it failed miserably as everyone once knows so that's how much the uh that 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 sony has was in the hole for this uh for this game and uh it which was uh, which is alarming so to no surprise uh everyone was thinking that this was going to happen but we just didn't know when but unfortunately the uh hopes of them ever bringing a concord back again uh looks like it's going to be thwarted uh because con uh, sony earlier this week officially uh decided to shut down the studio's of uh of firewalk studios so it is gone it is uh in less and uh two and and it was less than two years after buying it so uh on kotaku uh the uh uh, the source is uh by the writer ethan cash uh the playstation so as co-ceo herman holst announced in a press release on tuesday that the team was responsible for concord the company's sci-fi hero shooter that bombed so badly it was taken offline just weeks after its launch earlier this year the news comes less than two years after the playstation 5 make uh, maker uh first acquired firewalk studios as part of an ambitious plan for live service gaming uh then certain aspects of concord this is what the 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 uh the CEO says that certain aspect of Concord were exceptional, but others did not launch with enough players. And as a result, we took the game offline. And in, uh, in the press release, it, they officially said we have spent considerable time these past few months exploring our, all our options. After much thought, we have determined the best path forward is to permanently sunset the game and close the studio. I want to thank, uh, thank all of firewalk studios for their craftsmanships, creative spirit and dedication. Oh my God! So, uh, so I uh, and the 
from and what the rumors are about this is that Concord only sold on Steam twenty five thousand units. That's it uh, for a game that was only worth for two that only had two hundred two hundred million for two hundred million dollars at least what Sony paid for it uh, two hundred million dollars on, on it and uh, so this it, it's it's a weird situation in my opinion. Um. In the eyes of Sony, this was probably the biggest, well, the, not only the, the biggest misfire of them themselves, but this is also like, I'd say in history, like in, in gaming history at this point, uh, for a game that only came out for two weeks, shuts down because of how how atrocious the uh, the, uh, the game is. Uh, uh, the game sales were and it just felt like it was out of tone because no one really knew what who this game was for or let alone why this game came out and the and i think the dagger that really killed it was it wasn't free to play you know because the the free, yeah because like remember we play and and what what's sad about this case in this case the game did have its problems i think one of the most biggest problems was that their characters were too generic however i think think that to tell a person a brand new ip to do to say we're going to play a game that's going to be similar to games that we can get for free uh, uh and we're going to have to pay 40 dollars and commit to this kind of thing uh and plus a little bit of microtransactions along the way that this was going to uh you know uh going to happen but but yeah so anyways i kind of digress i know we went through this this conversation before but the biggest fact is is that 200 million dollars for sony to to uh to say we're going to try we're going to try to go we want to be in the free to game or we want to go in this kind of business the uh uh the live service business and they put this much money and then their future plans was they were planning on releasing what at the time was it nine or 10 different games that were going to be live service. And then they put this kind of cash on this studio that they only had for two years, not on top of the fact that they already own Bungie. And, and, and I bet you most people are going to be under the magnifying glass with, with, uh, with, with marathon that's coming uh, not marathon. Is it marathon? Yeah. With marathon coming it is out. Marathon, yeah. 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 And, and like, I'm just, I'm kind of scared at this point. You know, so like, what do you think, Smithy? What do you think about all of this? Yeah, no one's safe over at Sony, clearly. Um, and there will be more that happen. I feel bad for the studio. So, number one, I don't know if that was always their intention for the game or if that was a shift that they had to make after they were, you know, bought out by Sony in that ridiculous plan of trying to do. I mean, you could do as many live service games as you want to. If you don't know how to properly capture people's attention and then hold on to their uh, attention, you know what I mean? Like you're not, you're going to fail as a live service game. Uh, there's a reason why that genre is so tough to be it's successful in. It can be, but like you can't just do the same cookie cutter things and use generic cookie cutter characters that nobody cares about and say, we're going to update a, a, a story that no one gives a shit about every week like i don't i don't care you haven't sold me on anything like one thing that i thought that overwatch does really well is the vignettes and like the stories that we get in the comics and things like that that supports the lore of the game that's just a hero shooter but we get all this cool backstory to these these characters that make us care about these characters fatal mistake number one number two this is a live service game that should be free to play. You can't, you're trying to do too much. Number one, you can't charge and then have also microtransactions. Like that just pisses me off. That pisses people off. Uh, I imagine, you know, I think that's dumb. Like it should have already been, cause at least then you have an opportunity for people to play it. There's no direct buy-in from consumers out the gate in order to play this game so people already you know what i mean seeing that there's a price tag on this game you don't know where it's going it's a new ip i can't invest my time in that our time is important you got to be able to respect that and i don't think they respect people's time and that's one of the biggest things with live service games but they are a time suck yeah but i don't think that that, that was one of the many pro i think one of the biggest problems that i think like yeah that that is an issue that is clearly an issue i totally agree with you but however i think one of the biggest issues is i think this game was was uh was a game that came out way too late for its time 
is where, where I, I could like, see that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause this game, like, I think that if this game, let's say, uh, I believe this game came out maybe, let's say seven years ago, let's say like maybe mm-hmm. two, a year, maybe two years after overwatch or something like that. I could see an audience during this time because that, because that genre of kind of, of, of hero shooter was in its infantile states, you know? And I think that, mm-hmm. like, when you have this kind of deal, like, and then if you wanted to make it successful, that game would give it enough time to show, to give it the identity and stuff. And then maybe around the same time, if this thing was festering and it was successful to, to this point, uh, then then maybe they could get away with what they were trying to get away with for this for as a new IP. But, uh, but I also think that, one of the biggest issues that I that I that that this that I see here is like what kind of fu money did Sony have to decide to say hey let me just this is a studio that that is not marked that was not like I mean that we knew that they what they were making was something special and we're going to but we're just going to pump in that kind of cash free handedly you know I mean like that that has it's to give them money. Yeah, I mean that gives, doesn't that doesn't that <laughs> don't, aren't you questioning about that? Because like it, like even like games that games would That's love everyone like everyone in the gaming industry though. I feel like they all overinflated when they were getting them fat ass government checks, and now they're gonna ha- now they're having to dial back to reality because those numbers were never to be trusted. That was never gonna be a thing that everybody just worked from home. That. COVID was just going to be there and there was not going to be, they didn't take the fact that there's going to be a new normal. Eventually it'll stabilize. And that's what we're seeing, the stabilization of it. Now okay. we've seen that they, they went and they fattened themselves up. Now they're having to go back and be like, all right, this is dumb. So how there's not some sort of executive or somebody being at least scrutinized for these dumbass, you know, things that they're doing now. Cause then that, now what happens to firewalk? Are they just done? Are those people going to go and like have to found something new? That's that's terrible for them, you know. But and dude, who like, knows it's... how much the vision skewed from what they were working on until after after Sony purchased them. Yeah, but you know I, what I mean, I, but uh, you can't blame Sony for like some of these the artist. I mean, the full like all of the reasons, like the artistic decisions on on making the way they make. Because Sony doesn't usually do push back for that kind of thing. Overall, like they this is I like agree. But like but the however, marketing sucked on it too. Yeah, it did. It, it definitely did. But like. I mean, like like I said, like we can both agree on that. There was just a lot of different kinds of things that made this game wrong. <laughs> yes, all right. Yes. The funny. Yeah. I mean, we're not denying that, <laughs> but I guess the biggest thing is just like, but my question is, is just like, like, for instance, could you imagine a small, like an indie studio? Then you got big time Sony coming at you and said, oh, we really like the way you look. And yes. And I totally agree that it was definitely because of the time with the, you know, whatever uh, the, the, during the COVID downtime that they were over inflating and stuff but they're like we're going to give you 200 million dollars for for you to make uh, to make the next the next best the, the next best thing you know and i'm just like what like 200 million dollars you know and then, and then when you realize that you're not going to get the that 200 million dollars back well i mean then it's like okay yeah we did we made a terrible mistake <laughs> it's like what like the the pressure alone just seems like it would be collapsing it, it, it's good it would be collapsing and uh and, but and then what sucks now is like okay like like i said we saw this thing fail you and i i believe saw said that this is not coming back this was this was not going to be coming back and uh it was it was definitely probably the best move for them to decide to do that you know uh because you know to say to worry about okay we need to reformat the game to make it more interesting and stuff it takes more time takes more even You're just more dumping money more money yeah into for, a sinking ship yeah, and you've already yeah. made your first impression totally was destroyed. So there's absolutely no way. Uh, there's absolutely no way for this. So I understand that, but I really do feel bad about the people that did lose their jobs at Firewalk Studios. Uh, uh, and see, and and, uh, and hopefully, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to go back up, up on their feet because one of the good things that they definitely did in this game was the animation. The animation was 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 top notch. Oh, it was top notch mm-hmm. uh, uh, itself. Just please don't bring that guy from Temecula with the blue jacket again because it was terrible because <laughs> that i just that was that was just terrible like the art style designs was just uh i was not a fan but uh but yeah not not yeah. great choices very very yeah. generic do you know what's weird though the game like i said gameplay was fun it was good 
you know, mm-hmm. but it wasn't like uh, because uh, it's weird. Why? The, why am I gonna play that when I know Marvel Rivals is right around the exactly? Corner? Yeah, it, it's weird. It's like <laughs> they put so many crutches to like handicaps on this game, and I mean, besides the bat, the terrible marketing, besides the the uh, terrible like you know uh, the the terrible like you know character designs and stuff, and the and then the uh, reasoning on why you had to pay forty dollars for it when the average gamer was going to basically say. Forty dollars. Uh, I'll uh I'll wait till this game comes fr- uh, goes free to play, or it's going to be yeah. free for the PlayStation Store and stuff like that. And they, and, and you knew that it was what's a, what's what's a little annoying is like how you had to have known that was going to happen. You know, I mean, it's just weird. Dude, I said it was DOA, dude. <laughs> I was like, there is no way. This is, I don't even know why they're going through with this. <laughs> yeah. It was like, you know what? It was life. I think it was like, it was on life support when they realized the numbers that they got on the beta, the, the open beta. And then they were, you know, and they made it even wider when they said, oh, anyone who has PlayStation Plus can play it, you know? Yeah. When they said that, I knew, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the sell. That was the feature they were selling. Uh, they're just opening up. Oh. <laughs> That could be a good sign. <laughs> oh, I was just loving at the camp. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, you know that things is, are askew in that. That is case. true. Like, ah, that is very, good. very true. Yes. So anyways, uh, rest in peace. Uh yeah, rest in peace. Uh uh Court Concord and no one's gonna fr- no one's gonna remember the game, but I'll remember you for all the wrong reasons. So there you go. Ah. <laughs> all right. S- Smitty, what do you bring to the table? Yeah, obviously, unless you've been living underneath the rock or you're not here in the States, we've got an election here coming up on Tuesday. And I thought this was kind of interesting uh, story. It's it's There's multiple parts to the story, but it, it seems like, and again, no matter how you plan on voting, whichever way, just make sure you get out and vote. I thought it was interesting, though, that... Um, you know, Kamala Harris and Tim Walz, uh and that just whole campaign, how they're kind of they're looking to try to embrace this younger audience. Uh, they came up with uh, their team just launched here a couple of days ago uh, this Fortnite map called Freedom Town. Uh, again, that's kind of hilarious. Totally cringe. Uh, but whatever. I, I, I get I understand the sentiment of what they are trying to do. It has different things like gathering resources, stuff like that. Things that also like kind of touch on some of her policies uh, as well. Their challenges and and things. It has, and obviously, there's not a ton of people uh, playing it. There was a couple content creators that had like a sponsor. You know, we were going in and, and doing this thing or whatever. Um, but you know, again, I think that speaks to a demographic of people that aren't really targeted a lot by, you know, government officials when they're looking for reelection. So I definitely appreciate the effort that they're at least trying to reach out, get into these digital spaces and whatnot, no matter how cringe it may be. um, It's still an appreciation of seeing them saying, Hey, you know, we know you guys are are newer voters as well. Here's what we're about introducing ourselves. We, you know, we, we play video games, even though they totally don't. (laughs) <laughs> um, but I believe, I mean, Tim Walz maybe did at one point in time, um, there was here later on him and AOC, uh, stream Madden and, um, crazy taxi. So I believe that he probably played crazy taxi at some point in time in his younger years, maybe. Um, but again, to me, I, I just, the bigger story of it to me is how they're trying to, they're getting on these platforms that these eyeballs and people are on. Um, they're speaking directly to that younger, uh, and, and what probably is a more male dominated audience, uh, in that demographic, especially, you know, with Fortnite and, and I, I, you know, he used to be a coach. So it totally makes sense that, you know, playing Madden, Madden and stuff like that. And then crazy taxi, I think was probably Mm -hmm. for, for the nostalgia and they had that new, uh, I didn't even realize that the remake or whatever had come out. I I don't think it was emulated, but, um, which one? Oh, crazy! Ta- no, the, the, uh, crazy taxi. No, they're making a new one, um, but it's not I, out yet. Yeah, I don't think. Okay, okay, yeah. 
So yeah. I just wanted to see what people's thoughts were because you don't really see too many politicians. You know, you, you're seeing it more and more now, but I feel like it's still you don't really see them go on and just have an open, candid conversation playing video games and stuff like that with people. So I think it was pretty cool and, and a good effort uh, yeah. on their part. Well, um, it's actually kind of funny. It's funny because Chanetta says, I want to know what politician plays games. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that's true. <laughs> I want the honesty. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. But to be fair, all, to be fair, the politicians that pl- that are currently in office are like, old as dirt so most of the time most like, of what them are, are video games yeah you no, the, right the you mean the ball in, you mean the ball in the <laughs> cup <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah you know it's like <laughs> you know i don't know i think aoc probably plays video games. AOC there's is, other ones there's gotta be the the aoc is like probably yeah but like i can you can see aoc doing it but there's no way that she does do it you know like you know it's like she's be a person to be like, like i know video games just I'm regularly aware. chilling yeah. No, she would be like the one to be like, I'm aware of, of the power of video games. Keep this in mind. The people that True. that that do the uh the, uh that did all the kinds of regulations for for websites uh, for the websites to be like you know free or whatnot are people that did that didn't live while websites were active. So there you go. You know. So I think that it's just like yeah, it, it, it's a it's a weird situation that we're in when it comes to that. And uh, but anyways, I digress. Um, <laughs> The uh the I mean you're right it's a you have to find a way to bring people like all sorts of people that are interested in trying to get them into politics and, and stuff like or not into politics but more like making them care of some sort of way to be like okay this is what's going on and and stuff like that but it's always going to be a struggle that that adults are never going to win against the young uh, against the, uh, the the young because to be fair i was funny i was talking to my uh to my uh nephew or my uh second cousin who's only who's in college and he's only 20 years old and he mm-hmm. like can i mean at that age you don't give cra- uh, a crap about you know of the stuff because I feel that the issue is is that there's a disconnection between like the youth and and what the, like what's going on in the in the world because they're they don't have a they don't have a foot they don't have a game or a frame of reference of what you're what they're expecting until they get into yeah. and into it and uh yeah. and I think that like and and when you, when someone's telling you you should care about something that you have no freaking idea uh to do it uh the, it, it's it's an uphill battle to to make them try to be interested into it unless you're like you know doing things of like you know certain plan uh certain uh uh deals like uh uh what the right sometimes do do on on um college campuses but anyways i digress once again uh but the uh the whole thing is is uh it's cool to see them try and that's all you have to do Mm -hmm. is try and try to make and try to reach out and then and then do it and then maybe the 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 small amount that you do get get is what you can work on um and i and um and aoc's been been doing this like off and on for the past like like three or four years or so uh and see where that's where, where that's going to go the problem is is that the people in the that we have like the representatives that we have in the um like in politics doesn't doesn't have a uh like can't say crap about it because it's so weird like it's weird to, to think like oh you really think that mitch mcconnell is playing freaking Gears of War. It's like no, it's not, <laughs> no way. I'd Absolutely. love to see that. That'd that would be hilarious. Girl. Yeah, um. no, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's like no, there's no, it, it, it would be amazing. It's like Mitch McCall. It's like Mitch, I will donate two million dollars in your campaign if you can be. If you can beat this stage on Gears of War, and then it's yeah. like, well, let me try. Yeah, you know, but I don't know. It's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. So, no, yeah. So, but no. But like you said, the F, uh, there's A for effort. Um, it, and they, and I'm pretty sure they know it too. That's why they, that's why they don't spend as much time on this as well. And you know, if you ever notice this though too, like if you ever see stuff like you see, uh, like AOC on Twitch or the or, or like you know. I think there's like Harris Waltz on campaign and stuff on Twitch sometimes, or even Trump on campaign and stuff on Twitch. Those numbers are so small. It's not even funny. It's like, sometimes it's triple digits. It's not even like, no one cares. It's like, it's so, it's so funny to me, you know? Like, so I I, I don't know. I mean, there's their hearts are in the right place, but we'll, 
we'll we'll see. And it's such the the sad thing is it's the the youth vote is so freaking important. It is really important. Mm-hmm. And uh, and that and, and yeah. So like I said, all they got to do is try. I would love to see what the data looks like behind it. Like how much can they equate to actually? You know what I mean? Like in the actual votes that happen, or at least somebody taking interest in politics or something like that. I'd love to see that data. Hopefully, somebody's working on a study. Oh, I'm sure they would. That would be a very fascinating study and and stuff. You know what they also need? They need like a survey of like what like what it is because, like, uh, I'm sure there is, but something like something in depth or of, of some sort to be like why is it that we are so like like people under like uh, under, uh, at 18 and voting age to like 20 something 18 to 25 why is it so hard for people to come in i i mean i i don't know what it, like there's not really a uh an answer to it besides saying they're i, I feel like i feel like 18 to 25 you're becoming an adult you know you're becoming a you're becoming mm-hmm. your own adult and stuff so it's 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 like it's easier i think it's just easier said than done but uh and these those those folks just don't know how the real world is not yet yeah. uh, well most most yeah. folks do so i mean like i mean look at but look at like look at that this way we're seeing it retrospectively like we're seeing it that now because now we've we've been, we've experienced it can you imagine like right. imagine <laughs> imagine yourself at 20 years old did you really care at that time too i i have a story <laughs> but is it good i don't enough? know that it's not like super inappropriate but like uh-huh. when we invaded iraq and stuff like that like mm-hmm. we totally like had a bombing party or something oh yeah that is and... that, that's not inappropriate you gotta, <laughs> now, now hold on you gotta remember though too that this is still pretty fresh from 9-11 uh-huh. so you know what i mean like i said not proud of it Oh my but, God, Smitty! I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. I know, and it has not. I know. I know. This is terrible. We're I just believe- in weird. <laughs> I was like, probably, I don't know, eighteen or nineteen. Um, so again, not things that you know, really, like, yeah, I had no idea. What was that is um, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god no. oh wow well, well. i didn't know that i don't know but you gotta remember too i went to to school in the middle of the cornfield as well so uh-huh. things uh-huh. were a little different yes yes but my goodness dude like different. the yeah i mean but that's well that's my point naive naivety let alone then just and being and mm-hmm. stupid and stupidity not saying you're stupid smitty but i'm just saying that like like it's just that's where it comes down to. Uh, where where yeah. it is. Do you, like you're, even right now? Did you know that there was like eighteen? There's eighteen, uh, like uh, teenagers that were were going to voting voting um, mailboxes and like putting lighting them on fire, destroying the votes. That's inside. insane. That's yeah, federal crime. That's a federal crime, exactly. But then <laughs> like. I'm just saying, like that is just like like wow, dude. Like I mean. It's not. I mean, I'm not. It's not to to any excuse of saying boys be, will be boys, but I'm just saying that these, like these people, like freaking people now are troll like trolls when it comes to this kind of deal. It would be nice if we could try to find a way for make to make them care. If there's a lo- level of like you know in between where where it's not crazy like that, but uh, hey, but they're doing what's yeah. up at time. We didn't. To be honest with you, we just need more of this. That's that's where it comes down to. Yeah. Is all. Yeah. Exactly. People. It, it's cool to see the. I guess what you could say kind of pioneers of these politicians hopping into the live streaming space and gaming space and at least giving it a go. It hasn't caught on yet, but who knows? Maybe it is something. Maybe it does become a very reliable means of being able to reach a younger audience and getting them interested in politics one way or the other. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no doubt. You know, that would be kind of funny. Uh, uh, you just see, like, hey, I'm Katanji. Welcome to Katanji Jackson stream. The Supreme, the Supreme, one of the court, uh, the judges of the Supreme Court. Here's my stream of, <laughs> of Elden Ring. Yo, I am here for it. I am here for it. <laughs> it's like, here's Katanji you, know, you really Jackson. get to know, you get to really know a person as opposed to it being a title. They become more of a person, you know, right. what I mean, no matter how pre pro it is they're at least you know take you know have the balls to hop on there and 
and take questions live, whereas that would be scary, dude, because you know there's a bunch of people that are going to come in or possibly come in and mm, criticize you, and, and that will show and how crazy. you take criticism as well. Yeah, yeah. No, that's very true. You know what? If if it was up to you, Smithy, if you saw if 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 you knew that your like representatives or pre- like uh, well, excluding the president of the United States, that's too easy. But uh, if it was up to you, what stream of a uh, of a like official would you would you want them to uh, would you want to watch, and what would they play? Uh. <laughs> So it's people, people currently. Yeah, currently. Currently, um, I would love to see Bernie Sanders. I would love to see Bernie Sanders play Fall Guys. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> Fall Guys. I think that'd be fun. Oh, that that's a nice, cool. lighthearted game. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy, so he'd be able to play it. I think he'd enjoy it. I think he'd enjoy it. I would like about to see you? Marjorie Taylor Greene play Stardew Valley. <laughs> uh, I would watch that it. Would be, I that would, would be absolutely watch that. That would be so <laughs> fascinating to me if, uh, like, you just—it's <laughs> just a farming sim and just them just doing it, and just see what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah, so that that would be oh, an amazing man. one. Okay, so but anyways, but anyways, but yeah, yeah it's, well, that's cool. That's cool that they're that they're trying, and uh, we'll see. Definitely commend them on their try and their strength. Hopefully, they succeed, yeah. which they probably won't, because we just saw someone here earlier. Was who was it? Day Night says it's a map I'll never play, <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we'll see. Yeah, basically. There you go. The, tell me if I'm wrong. Would you not see an MTG playing Stardew Valley or some sort of game or Dreamlight, Dreamlight something from Disney? That would that would be that would. Be I would hype. watch it. <laughs> there you go. I but would watch it. She should play go. The Sims. That's what she should play. The Sims. Oh my god, I would love that. Would that would be too. awesome. Something would be like. <laughs> it's like hi. I yell a lot when I but when I'm yeah. at home, I just like to just. <laughs> play the game of the sims put the kids inside the pool take out the ladder so they can never come out of that pool <laughs> just watch watch what happens grab myself some wine yeah grab <laughs> myself some wine while I swirl it a little bit <laughs> oh, man. anyways but that's funny alright so I guess the uh, final topic here is uh, back to me and I wanted to talk about my my uh, love of this one game that I talked about last week which was Monster Hunter Wilds now as you know Monster Hunter Wilds is on a beta release uh, that just came out on starting on Monday uh, and they it was as terrific as I thought it was going to be and and apparently, I was not the only one. So apparently, Steam, uh, Steam, and uh, Xbox uh, Series S and X released their uh, their uh, beta for the Monster Hunter Wilds at later on in that week. I believe it was on th- Wednesday or Thursday. And th- just yesterday, the numbers came in on Steam. Five hundred thousand concurrent players were That's playing crazy, this game. Uh, yes, uh, uh, on this uh, uh, this this game. Now, this is a beta, so and it was free, so we know the number is not going to be that when it comes out. But however, the fact that there is five hundred thousand that was happening concurrently is a really good sign for Monster Hunter, you know, Monster yeah. Hunter to be to be doing it. So, I mean, this game already, the feel of the game was great. It was like uh this is and this is playing on PS5 uh right now. I'm I'm showing my playthrough of uh, my play of it. Uh and uh <clears throat> I man, dude, it's just more on Monster Hunter and the things that they're at uh, that they added, the things that they brought back was so so fun. Let me get to a match a spot here. Here we go. Oh, this is this is me trying to find the party, but uh, yes, it is exactly oh, everything I was expecting it to be. Thing. Yeah, everything I was expecting it to be, and then some. I am so satisfied. This game has sold me. I already knew you already knew I was going to get it because you already know I also made my uh, my cat Captain Cucumbers. He's he was nice. there. He, he, he was there. Nice green. You get to pull cat. in the cat from the beta. Uh no, that's the one thing. So so you're not going to be able to. Uh, they're, you're, they're not saving your progress on this. 
uh, which mm. is fine. Um, but they're gonna allow they're gonna save your uh, your selection, your character selection, like though because you're a custom character, you can you can uh, you can create the character. They're gonna allow, they're gonna save mm-hmm. that. So, but you're gonna start again from okay. scratch uh, on it again. So uh, I've just been for the past like several days, I've been trying out different kinds of weapons, been trying different kinds of uh, like uh, how the new systems work. And it just feels so good at 60 frames, dude. Like it's like uh, mm. I I I really have no complaints on uh, on the style. Uh, man, I hate when I stream when I watch myself streaming. And I see myself with my mouth wide open like a freaking yuppie. <laughs> 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 it's so funny. It's so weird. That focus to see. face. That's that locked in face, dude. Focus face. It's that, that <laughs> deadline. I need a. It's like guys, don't talk to me. I'm in the middle of this fight yeah. for my life. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> So I'm trying to see, Smitty. Does this do anything for you? It look. I mean, it looks good, dude. I like. So my biggest thing, number one, you said there's crossplay. This was a crossplay test. Uh, well, yes. so yeah, yes, it is a crossplay test. Now, yes, it is now. Uh, when I played it, it was only available on the uh, PlayStation Five, but now, but now it is now. Yes. Okay. Release date. Is it releasing on the same day for console and PC? Yes, it is going to be releasing on the same day. Oh. <laughs> but there's still no word on cross progression though. Correct? Yeah, I don't Yeah, so that's the that's the thing that really kind of irritates me. I don't think that there will be pro- cross progression. Um I don't know why like I'm just going under the, okay, so you know what? I'm gonna find out for sure. So let me yeah, see there is cross progression. Yeah. Maybe I just need to watch more of it. Cause like it definitely hypes me up watching it and it looks super cool. I just my you know, again, my issues with Monster Hunter World was the campaign was just too damn long, number mm-hmm. one. And it was not really interesting. Um and then it, essentially just having to play solo all the time was quite unforgiving. Mm. I feel like, you know what I mean? Like it was hard to kill things or, or fuck things up when, when you're just by yourself. See, I don't know what so your, how I, your friends just dumped you on that. It feels like your friends just dumped you on there like willy nilly and just, you know, no, and, and that wasn't the case. Like I didn't even really, I didn't like start playing with anybody. Oh, I got okay. it on my own. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I oh, also okay. didn't like go out about, and I played with Lex them a little bit. That's when I found out that she was playing. Mm. Um, but yeah, by then that's when they're weird. Like, oh, people are going to PC and whatnot, and I was like, I don't think I have it in me to try to do that campaign again. I don't even think I finished the actual original campaign, so maybe I did. I, I just I can't remember, dude. Like, I did get some of the like the Mega Man like collab and stuff like mm. that. <laughs> like, I did yeah. do Street Fighter, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, like, I think that, like, I know, that I think, stuff was really cool too. Yeah, I think your game experience is a lot different when you play with a lot when you play with friends, especially when you play. I with agree. A, a small team of four and stuff, but not necessarily a static. You should, you should have just done pickup groups online for. Uh, uh, yeah, for the game as I could well. have. I just didn't, <laughs> dude. I think I just moved on, man. Yeah. So yeah, I think your experience on wild uh, on world really kind of. So it was a sour note, but I think that I think this time around, since you know better, and then plus the AI, I did try to play with AI only as your teammates. Way better. oh, you can do that. Yes, in this one, oh, so like, so okay. if you can't find anybody, and then you just you can't yeah. find a party, and then you can one I can play get by on yourself. board with that. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you have a full squad of four that's going to help you out, you know. So that was actually really. cool. I just so don't know cool. that I could pay premium price for this because I feel. Like, I can go in with the best intention, but I could see my... Again, like I said, Marvel Rivals is looming, and that is going to take time. That will take my time. <laughs> you th- you already time. know it. You already know it. I You're already like, know it, dude. Absolutely. I'm going to go hard in the paint on that game. You're gonna I've be been like, waiting, dude. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to I want be top the, 500, baby. Mm. You want to be the best Black Panther player <laughs> ever. <laughs> That's right. No, I don't use Black Panther. I actually, yeah, I don't know that I've ever used Black Panther in that game. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? I'm very but, much, it's very much like Overwatch for me. I support and um, 
tank mainly, but I will do some DPS because mm. Scarlet Witch is ridiculous on that game. Uh, I didn't get a chance to even use Venom, I don't think. Captain America's pretty solid on there. I hate like, there's Captain some nice America DPS in that on there. game. Captain America, I was he's tough with. to put down, dude. Like I like I loved, I liked I liked Bucky Barnes better <clears throat> in that one. That was actually really I never good. used him. He's Bucky was one. great. Yeah, but it says here that no Monster Hunter Wilds does not support cross progression. So that means that your save state, such as game progress and DLC, will be managed separately for each platform. So that I sucks. So it's going to be either or for me. I don't know. Like the PC version looks great though. Like uh, from what I've seen. So I'm I'm pretty sure that uh. Uh, it's funny. Like I'm, I'm torn apart because I really want the steel book <laughs> for the uh, piece yeah. for the PS5. The steel book version. Looks I mean, really, really can nice. we just come to the conclusion that you are more than likely gonna buy this game twice? No, I'm not gonna buy the game twice. I know you're not. Because, no, I, I won't because. The big issue I had with World is the same issue that you had in it, and it was the story, man. Okay. The story progression was just, oh my god, was was like pulling teeth. And, uh, yeah. and I, yeah, so I think that, um, like I would have to have a good reason to come back on the PlayStation, like on the PC. And then, you know, the DLCs, when the DLC comes, it's going to be like, oh, uh, it's going to be annoying. It's going to be really annoying. So, so yeah, yeah so we'll I see, agree. we'll see how that, how all that's going to go. So, so yeah, but anyways, yeah, so we'll see. It's coming out February 25th and, uh, or February, yeah, February 25th and, and see where it's going to go. You know, so love it. I yeah. will see. We'll see how I'm feeling. That is still a bit of ways away too. So maybe, maybe I'm I'm still not completely saying I'm not gonna get it like day one. Right now, I'm like I don't really see a need for that. But who knows? February is a uh, is a grip away here, so a lot can happen. Right, definitely. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah, that was. Oh man, crazy. But folks, thank you for listening to the CFG Gamecast episode number 242. Thank you for being a part of the conversation as always. We will be back again next week with a whole new set of different kind of topics. But that, uh, but but if you did miss out on this episode, that's always okay. You can always check out our episode at the beginning of each and every week on Mondays. Uh, uh, so uh, there, uh, there are, we release on all podcast services. So there is absolutely no reason to miss out on our sexy, sexy voices. Ooh. <laughs> guys thank you so much and uh be sure to check out our website confreaksgeeks.com for some awesome great content as always so once again this is me and davis and so this is davis and smitty <laughs> signing out y'all take it easy and i was like uh, it's me davis and smitty i'm on an outside existential <laughs> crisis oh my god me myself and i me myself and i <laughs> <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs>